Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and in this video, bringing you guys another late night Q&A video from all of your questions on social media. So once again, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you guys know the drill. Uh, but just quick reminder, try to be as original as possible, because if you ask me something like, what's your favorite troop? A lot of people have already asked that question before. I think I answered it a while back. So try to be as original as possible, because you definitely have a better chance of being featured in a video. So first question was from Rafa, and he asked, should Supercell add a nighttime feature? So someone actually posted about this a while back on the Clash of Clans Reddit. I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen right now from what they posted. As well as this has been thrown around the forums a lot. I mean, this is something that's been around for a while. And I think some of the reasons they haven't added a nighttime feature to the game, number one, it's sort of a pain logistically to like, I mean, people play from all over the globe. So you've got... Uh, bunch of different time zones to where they'd have to find a way to integrate it with like your iPhone clock or Android clock or something. Plus, it might not be the best looking. I mean, you guys know when they have snow during the winter. The snow looks pretty cool for a while. You're like, wow, this looks amazing. But after a while, people are like, oh my god, get this snow off of my screen. It's so annoying. So I feel like it could be something that's like a little bit distracting the players. Also, if it's super dark, some people might complain about not being able to see the map as well. So yeah, I can see those reasons, and I guess the final reason is they have better things to work on, I think. I mean, if people had to choose between a new troop or adding a nighttime feature, I'm going to guess the majority of you guys are going to want that new troop or a new defense or a new quest system. So personally, I'd probably rather have Supercell work on something else other than the nighttime feature, but maybe if it was something you could turn on and off, and it was something maybe they only had to spend like one or two days on instead of like dedicating a whole update to it, then yeah, I think it would actually be pretty cool. Okay, next question, Tay Tay asked, have you thought about making more clans, such as Clash of Knots 2 or such? It would be cool for people to other people to be a part of the community. So I've thought about it, and I do have the Clash of Knots, which is our feeder clan, and I'll throw, the, I'll throw the info in the description below. By the way, if you guys don't know, if you ever want to join any of my clans, we have a Twitter that tweets out the openings. I'll throw that in the description. But the thing is, when you try to organize that many clans... I've thought about like sending some of the members from my clans to become leaders of like feeder clans, but that means I can't talk with those members anymore. So obviously I'm going to pick like really well, at, like really nice, really trusted members of my clan to be the leaders. And if I'm throwing those guys into a different clan, that means I'm not going to be able to talk to them again in Clash. So I think I'd rather just have all of my favorite members stay inside of my same clan and I keep it to the two clan system. If you get something like 10 Clash or Nots clans, I'm not going to be able to keep track of everyone. Plus people are going to think I'm going to be like Santa and visit all the time. So I, I don't know if that would work out that well. So I think I'm going to stick to two, um, but maybe we'll be able to do some different things soon like clan visits. I try to do clan visits every once in a while on Twitter. Like whenever I'm on the airplane and they have free Wi-Fi, I always go crazy with Q and A's and like clan visits. Uh, so if you guys follow me there, then I'll, I'll let you know. But I think two Clash or Nots for now, um, but who knows what the future holds. So Gregorio, I hope I pronounced that right. We, he, he said, we have the Archer Tower and Wizard Tower, both based off the concept of two troops. What do you think about Supercell adding a Witch Tower? It'll look just like the Wizard Tower, except it will summon four to five skeletons every few seconds. So I get a lot of questions from you guys adding asking which defense I would add to the game. And I was gonna I was actually gonna answer that question in this video with like, like sort of like a a free spell tower or something like that. But I think this idea from Gregorio is awesome. It would be so cool to have a witch tower, except you'd have to be really careful to how you balance it. Because, I mean, if you have a witch tower, geez, you could probably only have one or two of them and they'd have to not summon that many skeletons. Because the thing about skeletons on defense, they change around your whole entire attack. If you guys have ever been attacked by witches, sometimes you get stuck in that cycle of attacking the skeletons over and over because the witch spawns more skeletons than you can attack. And if you had something like that on defense, that would be a huge pain for attackers and it would probably be way overpowered in the beginning. I mean, it would just be a crazy thing to balance in the game. But if they could balance it, it would be so epic to have a witch tower. I really like the idea of having troops on top of towers. And uh, yeah, someone asked me if I could make another like tower based on a troop and I really didn't think about the witches the witches would be amazing so that would be super cool they just have to be really careful to how they balanced it because if it like took your troops all over the base to chase these little skeletons around then it would be so overpowered that would be ridiculous but good idea man and yeah that'd be sick if it was in the game all right so Mark asks do you think they will ever do you think they will ever incorporate the water on the edge of the map into the game hashtag ask Pat so 
I've always been hoping they would do this. And people say, oh my god, Boom Beach already has the water aspect. Um, and I, yeah, when Boom Beach came out, a lot of people said, well, there goes any chance of Clash of Clans having water troops. But I still feel like one day we'll have something that interacts with the water. If you guys don't remember, right when Clash of Clans came out, we had a crazy waterfall on the top right of the map. I think this was only in like 2012. But they removed it because it, it cost, uh, I don't know all the technical terms, I think it put too much stress on the game and it caused like, it took up too much data or something, or like memory or something like that. Um, so they had to remove it, but they did keep the water on the bottom left hand side of the map. And there, there isn't any trees between the water and the layout, I don't think, so I'm sort of holding out hope that one day we will get some water troops. Um, not necessarily like a water troop, but it would be cool to have some sort of maybe like water clan castle or something like that. I'm not a developer, I'm not the creators, I'm sure they could think of some super cool idea from the water, and uh, if you guys have any good ones, make sure you comment it in the comment section below. But truthfully, or I guess honestly, I feel like one day we will see something with the water in the game, whether it's a couple months from now, whether it's a couple years from now, uh, I feel like it'll eventually be used up, and it'll be something pretty cool. Alright, next question, what is the one thing in the game you hate and why? Wow, that's a pretty that's a pretty hardcore question. All right, one thing that I hate in Clash of Clans. Hmm. I guess I guess the next button. I mean, I think searching for bases is probably the number one thing. If you could get a perfect base right away, Clash of Clans would be so amazing. Uh, it would obviously take a lot less time because you could just farm over and over and over. Uh, but I think searching for bases is the one thing I hate about the game, especially in Champions League when you have to search for like 30 minutes at a time. That's when it gets really ridiculous but I mean sometimes you're searching for a base to farm and I mean right now it's amazing with the one week update but other times you're searching like eight minutes to ten minutes for a base to farm and you just get so demoralized when you spend like 50,000 gold searching for bases to where it's definitely one of the worst parts in the game obviously it's something they can't really change I mean they can always make the loot a little bit better but you're always going to have to search for bases no matter what, unless they just make the game super easy. And if the game's ridiculously easy, obviously everyone's just going to quit uh, because there's no skill or no challenge or no real achievement when you do upgrade your stuff. So I guess if I had to pick something that I hate, uh, yeah, definitely up or definitely waiting for the to find a base. I don't really think wait times are that bad. I don't mind waiting seven days for something to upgrade, uh, especially if you have five builders huts, it's really not that bad. Plus at like Town Hall 9, it does take a lot of rating to fill up all your builders huts. So I don't really mind the time that you have to wait to upgrade things. It's just searching for bases. You're like so hyped to play the game and then you pick up your phone or your iPad and before you know it, you spent tens of thousands of gold waiting for a lot of minutes and it's like, man, I should be playing the game right now. I shouldn't be searching, but I guess it is one of the evils of the game that we can't really get over. All right, Christian asks, not a question, but a suggestion. If you can pitch to Supercell to collect all resources with one tap instead of tapping each one to collect, it's kind of annoying. All right, so Christian, just for you, man, I, I went on Skype and I messaged one of the Supercell developers asking him about this. So uh, I'll go ahead and get an answer from you and let you know in the next video. We'll see what he says about it. I think it would be really nice if we could do that. Um, but maybe they're not trying to oversimplify the game. I guess that would be his response if he says no. But yeah, we'll have to see what happens. And uh, good luck, man. All right, final question from Wes Khalifa. He said, yo, when is Chief Pat Apparel coming out? I don't know how to spell apparel. All right, man. Uh, I think apparel, I don't know. I'm not trying to get in the spelling bee right now. Anyways, I'm going to drop some Chief Pat apparel soon. If you guys saw the picture I put out on Instagram, I posted a selfie with one of the shirt designs. Don't mind the filter or anything like that. But let me know what you guys think of the design. I actually think it's really cool. I've been working on designs for like the last month and a half. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get them out within the next couple weeks or so. So hopefully by the end of August, we'll have some cheap hat gear uh, that you guys can enjoy. If you want, I'll probably be able to autograph it, autograph it or send some extra goodies in there. So uh, yeah, looking towards the end of this month and let me know what you think about that shirt. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this Q&A. Once again, if you want to hit me up, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, make sure you do it. I like to pick a lot of questions from Facebook, especially this time around, because I had a lot of other stuff in my Q&A comment section. So, yeah, hit me up on any of those sites. I usually ask for questions on Monday. That's when I make a post. So, yeah, send me your guys' stuff, and hopefully you get featured in the next video. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.